In this video, we are going to demonstrate how the spurling test or the cervical compression test is performed. Now, in this model, you can see that the cervical spine is this area. These yellow are the nerves, and the purpose of this test is to create a compression such that if there is some involvement of the nerve, it will produce the radicular symptoms into the affected side, especially in the arms or into the shoulders. So, if there is a pathology that can be due to the disc or it can be due to the osteophytes, the spurling will produce the patient's symptom. Usually, they are the radicular symptoms. So, there is just axial compression of the cervical spine. Let me tell you one thing that the cervical spine can be compressed or the spurling test can be performed in the neutral position as well as into the flexion and extension, side bending to one side then compression, side bending to the other side and compression. So the variations can be there and you have to have an idea about all these variations. So in this video, I'm going to perform these variations in front of you. So this test is very specific for cervical radiculopathy and it has very good sensitivity and the quadrus score is about 11. So which is very good out of 14. So first of all, you have to place a pillow between yourself and your subject or the patient. And we are going to perform the spurling into the neutral position. So you need to cross your hands like this, place them on top of the patient's head and you need to press down. The pressure should be gradual and smooth and then you need to ask your patient about if it produces the radicular symptoms or not. This is spurling in neutral position. So we can perform the spurling into various degrees of flexion, for example in mid flex position of the cervical spine. And now the force will be directed downward as well as posterior. So it can be performed like this or the spurling can be performed into extension which is more provocative because the extension reduces the foramenal size. This as well as extension and side bending which is again very much affecting the same side nerves spurling to the opposite side and extension. So that's how it is done and if it produces the patient's radicular symptoms, this test is considered positive. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.